G'day guys! It's been five months since my last Tamagotchi collection video and in the past few months I have gotten a few new things for my collection. I also travelled overseas and actually found a bunch of vintage Tamagotchi goodies to add to my collection too. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. I thought today would be a good day to do this video because I'm moving. So I'm just frantically packing everything into boxes now and my studio stuffs are pretty much packed into boxes so I can't really work might as well do a video for you guys. I'm also currently running my IDL. I have Furobachi here. Look how cute she is. Also, here are some little Tamagotchi sculptures that I made recently. I love this one so much. He looks so derpy. I will be popping these in my shop very soon. If you've been following my vlogs, you'd know that I was just in Hong Kong a few months ago. And guess what? I actually found my childhood Tamagotchis. These are the actual Tamagotchis I played with as a kid and they still work. They're not in the best condition, but I found them in my room back at my parents' house in Hong Kong. And and oh my god, so many memories flooded into my head as soon as I saw these. And look, this one still has a little paper Ichigachi stuck to the back. I remember cutting this out of the packaging box and just sticky taping it to the back because I was like, the back is so boring, there's like no prints on it. And they still work perfectly fine. This one is actually still alive. I posted about this on Twitter the other day and all the game records from when I was like nine years old are still on these devices. As you can see, they're not in the best condition. This one has a bit of discoloration going on. This one looks a little better. There's a little tiny scratch here, but the general condition of it is not bad considering how I played with these a lot as a kid. They were brought with me to everywhere I went. I was pretty rough with them as well. Chucked them in my pencil cases, in my pockets, in my bags. So quite impressed by how well preserved this one is. And this last one here, I believe is a version two. So these two are version twos and this one is a version three. Again, not in the best condition, but just happy to have these back. I remember buying these because I did really well in school. I just had so many fond memories with these. So I'm glad they've been doing okay in my family home storage. And while I was in Hong Kong, I also picked up the One Piece Tamagotchi Smart. This is a One Piece collaboration with Tamagotchi and this comes with the watch as well as the one piece smart card you can buy the smart card on its own if you don't want to buy the watch i haven't opened this yet so maybe we should open it up just to check i feel like i should have done this right after i bought it but i was really busy when i was in hong kong so let's do it now So here's the Tamagotchi Smart. You can pop it out of this wristband if you don't want to wear it. I prefer to play it without the wristband because it's very chunky and I have a very small wrist. It just does not look right on my wrist. The design is one piece themed. It's got Luffy's hat on the very top here. This set also comes with a one piece lanyard. So adorable. It's got all the Tamagotchi characters on it that are dressed like one piece characters. And this is the Smart Card. With this smart card you can raise these one piece collaboration characters i actually started watching one piece recently i'm on episode 26 yes i know there are over a thousand episodes to go through i will get there eventually i just noticed on the back of the watch the little snap on button here also has a pirate print loving the attention to details the tamagotchi smart is very fun and innovative i did a video on this a while back but i feel like i'm just not a biggest fan of how the smart cards have only three limited users it makes me anxious to use it multiple times on different watches because i feel like once you've used it three times the card itself is literally valueless. I think that's a huge limitation but again loving how innovative it is. It has a touch screen, it only has one button, you can wear it as an accessory, you can get a lot of gameplay and functionality out of this and it's also rechargeable. No more having to put in chunky batteries that gives it a lot of extra weight. Everything has its pros and cons. This is just what I think about the watches. I will definitely run this when I can get a few more collector friends to play this with me. I always feel more motivated to keep them alive when I run them with a few friends. 
The next thing I got in Hong Kong is also Tamagotchi Smart related and they're these K Tama and N Tama Friends Tamagotchi Smart Cards. These come as a set of two, you can't buy them separately and they are only available on Premium Bandai. When things are available on Premium Bandai, they sometimes can be a bit tricky to get. You'll have to have a Japanese shipping address to buy from Premium Bandai, but sometimes websites like Japan You Want will stock them and you can also use a proxy to help get these items for you, which of course comes at an extra cost. I was very lucky to have found this in Hong Kong in a store, so that saves me on shipping fees. Absolutely love this set because it's got all these vintage Keitama and Entama characters on there. I have not seen these characters on a color Tamagotchi in a very long time, so I'm very excited to run these. Look how cute he is. The next thing I added to my collection is also a Tamagotchi Smart. This box is much bigger than the other Tamagotchi Smart boxes and this is the Anniversary Party Friends set. It comes with the Smart Card, the watch as well as a character special book. And yes, this is a 25th anniversary special edition set and I've seen so many pictures of this watch online. It's absolutely gorgeous. The faceplate is extremely shiny and glittery. You can also buy the Smart Card by itself if you don't want to get the book and the watch. I haven't opened this as well. Let's do it. I really want to check out the character special book. So here's the watch. The watch band is really cute. It's semi-transparent. The whole thing is purple. This speakerphone bit here looks like a little love heart. So that's really cute. And the faceplate is glittery. It's a bit hard to see here, but it kind of reminds me of a mermaid's tail. Love that you can get mask kuchi on this one. So because this was an anniversary special set, Bandai did something very interesting before releasing this. They made a poll on their website and let players vote for which character they wanted to be included on this Tamagotchi smart card. And in the end, Jinjirachi won the vote, so he's been included into this Tamagotchi smart card. I voted for him because I think he's so adorable and he's not featured enough on Tamagotchis. So now he's officially a playable character on this Tamagotchi smart. I'm so glad he ranked first on the poll. And here's the character's special book. I actually have no idea what's inside of this. And oh, let's take a look at what's inside. Here's a character guide. That's so adorable. Oh my god. Here's Jinjirachi. Isn't he amazing? Oh, what a little gem. I'm in love with this book. This is amazing. So it just features all the existing Tamagotchi characters, I guess. And it's kind of like a cute little guidebook celebrating all the Tamagotchi characters Bandai has created over the last 25 years. You can see the art style has really changed from when Tamagotchis were first released. All the characters become more and more detailed and there's a lot going on on the designs. This is so adorable. I love this. Wow, who is she? Ooh, who are these? <gasps> Vampire Kuromomechi. Ah, this is the best. These must be from the Marine Tamagotchi Smart Card. Look at this Kuchibachi Sea Angel. <laughs> wow, I think it's so worth getting this set just to get this book because as a collector, you can't not have this. This is awesome. I really love how the vintage characters look. And the next thing I want to show you is this Spy X Family Tamagotchi Nano. Now I've said this in a couple of videos before, but the Tamagotchi Nano is not my favorite Tamagotchi to run just because it's very basic in terms of gameplay. But the amazing thing about the Tamagotchi Tamagotchi Nanos is that they have amazing cutscenes. So Bandai does a lot of collaboration with franchises and shows and movies. They like to incorporate scenes from these movies and shows onto the Tamagotchi. Even though the device is so small, the pixels on the screen are 
are extremely limited and the screen is tiny. The cutscenes they are able to incorporate into these devices are done so extremely well. They are very detailed and very true to the actual shows or movies. So if you're a fan of the franchise, it's actually very fun to see these cutscenes appear on the little screen. I do have three nanos in my collection. I have this Spy Family one, I have the Gudetama one as well as the Pixar Toy Story one. These are the only ones I have because the nano is just not my favorite so I only collect ones that have collaborated with franchises that I really like. This one came out when I was in Hong Kong and for some reason the day it was released it was instantly put on sale at the toy store so I just grabbed the pink one. You can raise different versions of the main character Anya on this Tamagotchi Nano. The gameplay on these are very simple but then this can also be the charm of Tamagotchi Nanos if you're a busybody and you don't have a lot of time to tend to your Tamagotchi this might be the one to get especially when they do so many collaborations with different franchises there are a whole bunch of these you can choose from if you want to invest in a Nano. They're also very tiny so definitely pocket size you can also put them on your bag pencil case wherever you want. The next thing I have is this Tamagotchi re-release of the Gen 1 in the comic art shell. I'm personally not a big fan of the Gen 1 and the Gen 2s. In terms of gameplay, they are very, very simple. To be honest, if I had to choose between running the Nano or the Gen 1s or Gen 2s, I would actually pick the Nano. The gameplay on the Gen 1s can be quite repetitive, so I only collect shells that I really, really like. This one was actually gifted to me by a collector friend, and I was going to get this one anyway because it's a character shell. I have a soft spot for character shells, and I thought this design was very cute. If you're new to Tamagotchis, these are actually quite easy to get hold of because they are sold in many shops, even at Target or just general game stores, you should be able to find these. So they are very accessible, so many different shell designs to choose from and with how simple the gameplay is, they are also much easier to manage throughout the day if you are a busybody. Unfortunately, I'm just really not a fan of playing with these, but this shell color is adorable so it's worth collecting. And the last few things I want to show you are not really Tamagotchis but more like Tamagotchi merchandise. They are all official Bandai released merchandise that I found in Hong Kong. They're all just small items but still Tamagotchi related. I thought you guys would be interested. The first thing is this little keychain capsule. When this was released this was meant to be a candy case so it came with like a lolly and you're supposed to pop that inside the capsule and you could carry it around. This was a Sanrio Bandai collaboration. There were a few different designs available and I have the Pom Pom Pudin one because he is my favorite Sanrio character. The design is so cute. You can see Memechi here and Pom Pom Pudin. If you open it up, it's just a very simple case. It's just a cute little extra thing to collect. The second thing was this Tamagotchi Gachapon that I got in Hong Kong. If you've seen my Hong Kong vlog, you would have known that I got to hang out with my Tamagotchi collector friends. We finally met up in person. It was so nice to see these people that I connect with online face to face. We obviously went hunting for this Gachapon and we found a shop that had the machine. If you want to see more of our meetup and us getting this Gachapon, on and our hangout you can definitely check out my Hong Kong vlog I'll put the link in the description box as well as on the right hand corner of the screen right now I just love meeting my online friends in person we all ran Tamagotchis together it was just so fun anyway we went to get this Gachapon and I got the one I wanted in one go I got the Tamagotchi Morino one and this series of Gachapon comes in many different designs I really wanted either the Angel Gachi ones or the Morino and I got the Marino one in one go, which was amazing. These keychains or like charms, I guess, are also very well made, very detailed, comes in a little ball chain. Such a cute series to collect. And look at these lovebirds in the UFO. Okay, so the last few things I want to show you were from a vintage toy shop in Hong Kong. They were closing down when I was walking past, so I went in not expecting to find anything Tamagotchi related, honestly, because they mainly sold figurines and like archipons from more popular franchises like animes and stuff. But they were closing down and 
and the shop was a mess because they were pulling out all the stocks onto their storefront. It was just chaotic and a lot going on. So I kind of just went in for fun just to see what's up. And to my surprise, like 10 minutes of being in the store, I found this Tamagotchi ruler. So this is an Uratama Tamagotchi ruler. I assumed it was released when the Uratama came out. The Uratama is a Tamagotchi that has blue pixels. So you can see all the characters have a blue border on them. On the actual vintage Uratama Tamagotchi, they really do have blue pixels and they're actually not very easy to see in real life because the, because the blue pixels can be quite pale in color. It's still a very cool feature to have, especially back in the days when we didn't have like color screens. Seeing that blue pixel was just amazing technology. <laughs> when I saw this ruler, I saw that they had three left. I grabbed all three and I was like, I'm getting this for me and my collector friends. So I grabbed them, went to pay for them. The shopkeeper saw me buying them all out and she was just like, are you looking for Tamagotchi merch? And I was like, um, if you have more then yeah. <laughs> Do you have more? And she was like, of course, like we have a couple of things from years ago that didn't sell. So I just followed her into the shop and she passed me this Tamagotchi handkerchief. It's brand new and it was kept really well in its original packaging. It's massive though, so I'm gonna open it up fully now to show you what it looks like. Isn't this adorable? It's massive though, so I wouldn't know what to use such a big handkerchief for. Not that I would ever use this. Because this had been in her storage for so long, she sold it to me for like five Australian dollars. It was the only one left, so I couldn't get more for my friends. But I love how there's the Tamagotchi planet on it. The planet characters are not featured enough and the original sticker is still intact. It says 100% cotton and made in Japan. And the last thing she showed me too was this series of gachapon items that she had. She actually had two sets of Tamagotchi gachapon stuffs but the other set wasn't complete and it looked a bit old as well so I just let that one go but I did buy this set. This set is complete and they are these adorable little clips. All the little gachapon papers are still intact and it came with this set is absolutely adorable. They're just these paper clips that you can also apparently use on your bag strap because they have a little slit on the back like that that you can use to clip onto things sideways. There are eight clips in total and they're all in perfect condition, no discoloration. So this is what it looks like. I forget what she's called but she works at all the Tamagotchi restaurants. Here's the slit I was talking about so you can slide it onto your bag strap. But yes, it's also a paper clip. There's also Mamechi, Mamechi. There's young Mamechi on a shooting star. Oh, look at him. There's Furawachi. This is the girl I have on my IDL right now. And this is Mimichi. I think that's a basket of mushrooms. There's these ones as well. Is that a hot dog? So yeah, I was very surprised to have found this at the vintage toy shop because obviously these are out of production and they were released years ago. To find them in such great condition as well at a physical store, it just always feels amazing. And it's also great that I got to buy this as a complete set as opposed to just one of them. So that's it for my recent Tamagotchi haul. And it's been a busy couple of months. I'll be packing these away and getting ready for the move now. I do have new Tamagotchi things coming in the mail very soon though so my collection is growing and who knows maybe in a couple of months there will be another collection video. Thank you so much for showing my collection videos so much love. I get so many people who tell me they've gotten into the hobby because of my videos. It really means a lot because I would love to help keep this hobby alive. It is such a wholesome and cute little thing to have in your life and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there is a Tamagotchi you want me to run for you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!